Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Business Every Day. What website platform do you use for your e-commerce store? This is a question that I had to grapple with for a very long time to figure out what I wanted to use and how I wanted my platform to work and function, look, and there were just so much material out there to read and sort through. And today I'm gonna to share with you why I decided to go with the Shopify platform. When I started my business, I knew that I was going to need a web platform to show off my store, my products, my blog, my YouTube channel, and have a centralized location for all of that material. I have had websites in the past, but I've never done e-commerce on my own platform. I have used Amazon, I've used Etsy, I've used eBay, I've used Facebook Marketplace, I've used many other e-commerce type platforms, but I never used my own for actual transactions. After much study and watching YouTube videos and reading comments and asking lots of questions on different forums, I decided to go with the Shopify platform. There are a few reasons that I decided to go with the Shopify platform instead of going with Wix or Squarespace or WordPress or any of the other platforms. And I wanna share with you today my experience and the reason that I decided to go with the Shopify platform. Probably the biggest reason that I decided to go with Shopify versus other platforms is scalability. The Shopify platform is designed and built for you to grow from a very small company to something huge. I plan on my company becoming huge. And so I wanted to start with something that I knew that I could scale and grow without having to change the full back end or rebuild everything, but just build upon what I'm already doing today. Now, what I mean by scalability is that the back back end to the Shopify platform is fairly robust. They already have a lot of applications that you can integrate into your e-commerce platform. That includes marketing, analytics, other plugins for inventory management, for advertising, for search engine optimization. All of that is built in to the Shopify platform with tons of these plugins and I don't have to go out and find or build anything myself. Scalability was probably the biggest reason that I decided to go with Shopify. One of the other reasons that I decided to go with Shopify instead of Wix or Squarespace or those are the other two big competitors for this type of platform was because of the payment options for the transactions. Shopify allows for very easy international commerce. They take almost every form of payment out there. Some I didn't even knew exist. Everything from Visa and MasterCard, Bitcoin transactions. You can include other plugins like Affirm for payments. Now, I plan on my business to grow to a large scale and not to be located only in the US. I wanna be able to service Canada and Mexico and Europe and Asia and, and go beyond that to get my products out there to those who want them. I did not wanna be confined to payment methods only accepted in the US. Now, some of the things that I'm not too thrilled on regarding Shopify. One is the cost. It is not the cheapest option out there. I paid for everything on a yearly basis. I try and do that with all of my services so that I don't have to think about monthly payments or revenue coming in, that I have the cash, I'm gonna go ahead and just pay for it all at once and then be done. Shopify is not the cheapest option, but I think for what you're getting and the ability to grow that beyond where you currently are, I think that justifies the cost in my context. Another thing that I'm not too thrilled on are the actual website options. Now there, I believe there are seven options for templates when you first get started. Now you can pay for all these other templates and options, but most of them are two or $300 per template and some of the generic ones are rather basic. And so if you go to other Shopify stores, they kind of all look the same. So if you're looking for that unique twist on things from the get-go, Shopify might not be the right option for you because you have to pay that extra expense once you already have the subscription to then buy something that's rather unique. Another thing that you have to pay for if you want the integration is a lot of the different apps, the management services, the accounting, the different plugins that you might use for your website, for your inventory management. A lot of those are a monthly cost. They are available, which I love, but you do have to pay for a lot of different things. Probably the last item that I was not thrilled on after getting into it was how complicated I found Shopify's backend platform as a new user. Now, I can't say that I'm a completely new user because I've used websites, I work in technology, I've done building, I've done coding and things like that. But as a beginner, 
Shopify is not for the faint of heart. There are things on the back end that you kind of have to have this web development mindset to get into. Again, it allows you to grow and scale tremendously, but if you're looking for that drag and drop template style, Shopify has that, but on a very basic level. A lot of what you have to do is you have to come in with some general understanding of how websites operate and how they connect in order to utilize all the functionality completely. This doesn't mean that you cannot develop your website. That doesn't mean that you can't develop something that looks nice and looks good on both mobile and desktop. That's not what I'm saying at all. But know that when you begin to build, there's going to be this very large learning curve that you will have to face. Not to scare you, but it is a tool that you can add to your tool belt to say, hey, I understand how the web development works so that when you grow your team, when you grow your business, that you can actually have some language and communicate with those people who will be taking over that part of your business. I think that is a very valuable thing and the reason Another reason that I did go with Shopify was because it was gonna require that learning curve. But if you're looking for, hey, I wanna get started in the first 24 hours and get this up without any frustration, I might choose something other than Shopify. I have had to call customer service a couple of different times, especially when I was integrating in my private domain. I'll create a separate video on how to integrate from domain.com because Shopify considers that to be a third party, so it's a little confusing, but they were very responsive, they were able to get back to me, and I have had a great experience with doing transactions on my Shopify website. My website is now live, it is still in the build process, and I recommend that if you are going to be building a website, a business, that you go ahead and get something out there, even if it's not refined and complete, just so that you can start. Get started and just learn as you go along. Don't wait until you have it all figured out because then you'll wait forever. Just get in there, start, and see how it goes. Thanks for joining in today. Hopefully this information was helpful as you decide what platform you are going to be using for your e-commerce website. I challenge you to just go ahead and get started right now. Get out there, do some business, see what happens, and begin to grow this thing that you've always wanted to grow. So thanks again, and I will catch you next time. Oh.